Well, Wastelanders, we got a special gift for you today. We have Tony. This is Mark 25, six hour. We're going to shoot the Osprey with uh, what, what round first? Uh, these are uh, 147s. I think they're Federals. Okay. And uh, okay. you have some Normans in there, right? Uh, yeah, there's four of the 147s and then five of the uh, Norma. Uh, what'd you say they are, 158? Yeah, they're 150 or 158s. Okay. 158, I think. All right. This is now the Osprey 45. Okay, so that was the 147s. You got a go putt. That's one thing I hate about the Normans at the moment. They, uh, with the uh, Osprey, they're too, uh, it's not too much kickback. Sounds like a hush puppy, almost. Yeah. So I can't shoot those out of my 17 long because of how, because uh, it does that. Pretty cool though, huh? Quiet. Nice and quiet. All right, let's try it again. Nope. Same thing. Not enough poop. Yeah, so we'll put the other can on. Give us a minute. Okay, we are back. We switched the can due to YouTube's restrictions because they don't want you to know how to do stupid things, but apparently. But we're shooting uh, Norma's 158 with uh, Yankee Hill R9. Did he check? You know what it is? What? I have an 18 pound recoil spring in this. Yeah, that's what I think was wrong with my uh, 17 long. I put a heavier recoil spring on it. That's what's causing it. Still pretty quiet though, huh? It is. It's very quiet. So don't put a heavy recoil spring in uh, your pistol if you're going to shoot suppressed, huh? Yeah, I put the heavier recoil spring in it because all I carry in it is plus piece, 124 grain plus piece. What does the 124 grain sound like through that? Um, I don't know. I don't have any extra ones with me. Hmm. Can't spare one bullet? Nope. Can't spare one. <laughs> oh, can't show that on YouTube. Don't show this on YouTube. Yeah. He's unscrewing it. He's showing how to remove a suppressor. But in all glory, the Mark 25 on a suppressed, what do you think? The, the 147 sounded pretty good. Yeah, they did. If you want, you can. I have some more 147s you can shoot oh, through. Thank you. Okay. okay. Well, what's your opinion? Pretty quiet. Are suppressors PPE? Yes, suppressors are PPE. They're hearing protection. So they shouldn't be regulated. They should be required on every they're, pistol. They're noise reduction. <clears throat> they they're should be required protection. on every pistol. And rifle. Okay. Well, thank you. Hey, Ray Sanders. I'm here to show again a better video of me shooting a Yankee Hill R9 with 158 grain subsonics from Norman out of my Glock 49. I'm going to shoot a few shots to this one, then I'm going to switch over to the Osprey 45, do a few shots to that one, and just to see how noise reduction difference and see how well perf the performance of it. So, there we go. We are using a ballistics advantage barrel. Why 
why it's working like that, but hmm. I wonder if it's the rounds because that's the same thing they did in mine. Yeah. We'll come back to uh, switching the, the Osprey. Sorry, we couldn't show that on YouTube, but I've switched over. It's probably going to stove pipe. I'm not sure. Um, I like the one. I like these 158s because they hit hard during uh, competition, and they're just they cycle real well. Not even subsonic, but when they're subsonics, they really sound quiet. This might turn into a hush puppy kind of gun, where it won't cycle back in my stove pipe, but we'll see. Yeah, not enough back pressure, I'm thinking. Yeah. Oh, well. But anyways, that's uh, the difference between uh, cams. You can tell one's quieter or one regulates the gas better than the other. This would be better on a 45, like maybe an HK for UST 45 or a Mark 23, which a lot of people like, or a 19 load depending this i like it on my pdw because it looks aesthetically nice and it looks nice on this but the ak hill r9 is also more versatile you can use it on 300 blackout direct thread and a nine millimeter pc uh pistol caliber carbine like tony's nine millimeter but anyways have a good time with this one